In today's video, we're bringing the heat. We got a 45 caliber Glock 21. Yeah, buddy. Thanks for joining us on Shoot of the Series. I'm Ed Thorell from Firearms Education and Training, and we're glad you tuned in to watch our videos. For those that haven't already, be sure to subscribe, like, and share. If you really like what we're doing, come find us on Patreon and partner up with us. So you're going to notice we're on a live range. So if you hear ambient noise in the background, that's real gunfire. We're not dubbing that in. Anyway, today we're going to spend a little bit of time talking about the Glock Model 21 in 45 ACP. And just like we always do, we start by showing safe and clear. Every gun's loaded until you prove it's not. So we want everybody to be set at ease when we do this so that uh, nothing bad ever happens. Um, anyway, this is the 45 ACP. This is definitely the big boy on the block. The uh, Model 21 and 45 Auto, it's, it's definitely a beast. You put your hands around it and you can tell you're hanging on to a much larger gun than the frame that comes with the 9 or the 40. Um, it definitely fills up your hands. And because of that, if you've got smaller hands, it might be a bit of a challenge. Um, the, uh, it's a, it, this is a Generation 3, and you can tell the Gen 3 because it comes with the rail for the light of the laser, as well as the finger grooves. Um, this is basically, basically stock. Um, it's had a few upgrades made to it. Um, one of them you'll notice is they have an extended slide lock. If your thumbs are a little bit short, this gives you a little bit different um, surface, a little bit longer, so that you can uh, lock this back into place. Um, you're also going to notice that this comes with a, a stock magazine release. Um, it's very squared off, which makes it very, very positive. Um, I had a Tango Down that I added to my Gen 5 Glock, which I prefer. But the beauty of the Glock is that it's a chassis. There are so many aftermarket parts that you can buy and um, really personalize your pistol that you've got lots of choices. You can keep it stock or you can add little touches to make it more shootable for you. Um, you'll also notice that on this particular model, um, we have what you would call some uh, fiber optic sights. These happen to be day glow green. And if you're outdoors, they get very, very bright and uh, have a lot of high resolution for outdoor shooting. Um, they've become very, very popular. And, you know, because of that, it's had some small changes made to it, but there are things that are going to make it more shootable for, you know, the, the owner of it. Um, it's a 45 ACP, you know, 10 round magazine. This one happens to be a single stack. And that's because those are stubby little big old bullets that take up a lot of space and it's going to fill up this magazine nicely. It's a great pistol and just like every Glock, it's got the safety right built into the trigger. So if that little scallop is not completely engaged, it's not going to fire. It's a great pistol if you've got larger hands or want something that's got a little bit more punch to it. 45 is a great way to go. I love the 45 because nobody's made a 46. And uh, all that being said, we're going to spend some time and put some rounds down range just so you can see how it handles. On behalf of Shoot of the Series, we want to thank you all for watching and tuning in. If you really like what we're doing, come find us on Patreon and consider partnering up with us. All right, we're back. We're going to put a few rounds down range in the 45 Auto Glock Model 21. Like we always do, get used to the idea of having your finger on the top of the first round as an index. It's going to make it a lot easier if you can do this without having to look at what you're doing. Give it a tap, give it a rack, get a good strong grip, push that gun as far away from you as possible, soft pressure on the trigger. Hold the trigger back 
ease it forward to the reset. yippee ki hey. I'll tell you what, that was a whole lot of fun. Um, I can't say anything bad about it. I like a 45 to begin with, and this one really delivers. If you're interested in looking at more information, you can check out the links in the information box below. We want to thank you again for joining us on Shoot of the Series. Once again, I'm Ed Thorell from Firearms Education and Training. Y'all take care.